agreements. Uh, and here in this Japanese agreement that we're discussing today, this is the first time uh, that Japan has signed an agreement with a major exporter, particularly a major agriculture exporter. So for beef, where we've got over a five billion dollar advantage for dairy, uh, for horticulture, for nuts, uh, the advantage that we have with Japan is an advantage that almost no other nation on earth has. So if you're an Australian exporter going into the Japanese market, uh, there is not another country that you are competing with that can compete in the same way that Australia can as a result of this historic agreement. And the Minister uh, for Trade has just walked into the chamber, and can I congratulate him? He has become an absolute rock star of the coalition's first year uh, in government, delivering things that many of our critics said uh, could not be delivered. Wrong here, and here we stand a very short period of time uh, after the last federal election uh, with the delivery of three historic agreements. Uh, just recently, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, we saw the signing of the Chinese agreement. And while uh, we got everything we wanted and more on agriculture, and that is great news for our country and great news for jobs, uh, the big thing in the Chinese agreement, Mr Deputy Speaker, and uh, one thing that I think the public is just underestimating a little bit at the moment, but uh, in the decades to come will come to appreciate uh, as transformative for our economy. Uh, we have access in the service side, in health, uh, in childcare, uh, in architecture, in law, uh, into the Chinese market that, again, no other country on earth has that level of access. Uh, where 100 per cent Australian-owned companies can go into the Chinese marketplace and deliver these things. And what, I, what this means, Mr Deputy Speaker, is very simple. In a market of 1.3 billion people, where literally millions of people are coming into uh, the middle class, uh, they are going to become consumers of our services, uh, of our education services, of our childcare services, of our healthcare services, of architecture and of law. Uh, and uh, this is an enormous market, and the Chinese free trade agreement gives access into the Chinese market that, again, effectively, in many cases, no other country on earth has that advantage or that access. 